In this video, we are going to be learning how to use MySQL on Kali Linux. This video is a full tutorial on MySQL. So let's get started. I will first open my terminal. Now, if you are using the latest version of Kali Linux, MySQL will come already pre-installed. But if for some reason you do not have MySQL installed, then type the command sudo apt install mysql dash server and press enter. Since I already have it installed, I do not need to type this command. To confirm whether MySQL is installed in your system or not, type the command mysql space dash dash version and press enter if you get this output it means that mysql is installed in your system after confirming mysql is installed in your system we have to start mysql so to do that type the command sudo service mysql space start and press enter next check the status of mysql to confirm whether it is running or not so the command is sudo service mysql status and press enter i can confirm that mysql is active and running the next thing that we will do is log into the MySQL server with the root user. So type the command MySQL space dash u for username space root space dash p and press enter. Type your MySQL root password which is 123456 for me. If you do not know the root password and you are getting the access denied error then please check out the video in the link in the description box where I show you how to set the root password. So after you are logged in the very first thing that you need to do is create your own database. So the command to create a database is create space database space the name of the database that you want to create. I'll call my database my database and close this statement with a semicolon and press enter. If I type the command show space databases semicolon and press enter I can see some default database but I also can see the database that I have created. Now what is a database? Database is used to store data and these data are stored in the form of a table with rows and columns. Now since I have already created my database, I have to create a table inside it. So I will first select and activate my database. So use space the name of my database which is my database semicolon to end the statement and press enter. Now that we have selected our database, we can create a table inside it. By the way, to know which database that you are using, you will see the name here. So since I am using the database named my database, that's why it is showing my database here. Now I will create my table with the command create space table space the name of the table that you want to create. I will call my table my underscore table space parenthesis and press enter to jump to the next line. And now we have to create the columns for our table. I want my table to have three column id name and age. So I will first create the ID column with ID space the data type for ID since ID needs to be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is an integer. So I will type INT for integer space since ID needs to be unique. No two users can have the same ID. So that's why I will give a primary key. So primary key comma press enter to jump to the next line and make another column. This time it will be the column username space varchar varchar means variable character it is a data type used when you use characters like a b c d so the username can be something like john bob that's why we have used varchar and i will set the limit as 50 so our username cannot be longer than 50 characters comma jump to the next line and give another column name this time i will give age space the data type will be again integer because age is 21 22 23 that's why it's an integer press enter close the parenthesis semicolon and press enter and our table has been created. If I give the command show table semicolon and press enter. Sorry, it needed to be show tables. By the way, if you make a spelling mistake error, you will get a SQL syntax error. So since I did not give S here, it was a spelling mistake. That's why I got this error. So give the command show tables and press enter. And you can see my table has been created. Now let's see the content inside this table. So I will type the command select space the asterisk mark. Asterisk means I want to see everything inside this table space from the name of the table which is my table semicolon and press enter i don't get any output and it says empty set because i have not put any data inside it so let's create some users for our table so to do that type the command insert space into space the name of the table which was my table for me in parenthesis type the column names which was id comma username comma age space values space again parenthesis and the row that you want to insert I want to create a user with id1 because it is the first user space in apostrophe type the name of the user the name of my user is john comma space the age of the user john can be 24 years old and close the statement with a semicolon and press enter 
So my first user John has been created. So if I try to see the content of my table again, so I will select everything from my table and press enter. I can see for the ID one, the username is John and the age is 24. Now let's insert some more rows into the table. So I will create another user, insert into the name of my table, the column names, and this time the values will be two. The name of the user will be Bob and the age of Bob will be 25. I will create one more user. The ID will be three. The name will be Alice and the age of Alice will be 27 and press enter. And if I see the content of my table again, I can see three users has been created. Now after inserting the rows, you have realized that you have typed the age of Bob wrong. Bob's actual age is not 25 but 23. So you can update this field with the command update space the name of the table. The name of my table is my table space set space the column that you want to update. So Bob's age 25 is under the age column age space equal to 23 where id equal to 2. I can see that Bob's id is 2. And the reason why we have selected ID is because in the future there might be another user named Bob but two ID cannot be the same that's why I have selected ID. So that's why I have given the ID the primary key column and press enter and now if I see the content of my database again I can see Bob's age has been updated to 23. Now if you want to delete any user so suppose if I want to delete the user John then type the command delete space from space the name of the table which is my table for me space where id equal to one semicolon and press enter and now if i see the content of the table again i can see the user john has been deleted so this is how you insert into a row update any field and delete any row if you want to delete this whole table then type the command drop space table space the name of the table which is my table semicolon and press enter and now if i give the command show tables semicolon and press enter i can see no tables exist lastly if you want to delete the database that you just created then first change to another database so i will first select which databases are available with the command show space databases semicolon and press enter i will change to mysql the default database use space mysql semicolon and press enter and as you can see my database has changed now i will delete my database so similarly type the command drop space database space the name of your database that you want to delete it is my database for me semicolon and press enter and now if i see which databases are available i can see my database does not exist if you want to quit out of the mysql server then type the command exit semicolon and press enter and as you can see i'm back in my terminal now so this is a very beginner tutorial of mysql if you like this video and want to watch more content related to kelly linux or ethical hacking please subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching